Now I'll send this to Captain Zell. Are any occupations going to be mandatory for the vaccine? Fire responders, uh, security forces, EMS, anything like that? Are there any special groups that must get it? I think the the differentiation and, and Sergeant Major Truentrin kind of spoke about this pretty well. Uh, the difference between highly recommended and required. I think right now with uh, EUA uh, over these vaccines, there are, there's not going to be a mandatory policy for these different occupations. There's going to be high recommendations and encouragement through education of why it's important for these these uh, specific occupations, such as EMTs, soldiers, etc. Okay. I'm going to take one more question. If I, sorry, if I may add, I think this whole issue of of the vaccine and who can and can't or shouldn't and refusal, I think once this comes out of an EAU, what, uh, emergency use authorization, once it becomes a fully approved vaccine, it's probably going to fall into the same category as all the other vaccines where there's going to be mandatory requirements. So um, I, I think most of us will at some point receive this vaccine. So this, you know, I think we should just all get as well educated about it as possible. Okay, perfect. 